Um, I, I don't suppose you live alone or anything. No. I've got some wonderful caramels over at the hotel. Mr. If you'd... Hill. Professor Hill. Professor of what? At what college do they give a degree for annoying women on the street like a Saturday night rowdy at a public dance hall? I wouldn't know anything about that. I'm a conservatory man myself. Gary, Indiana, gold medal class of Ot five. Even should that happen to be true, does that give you the right to follow me around wherever I go? Another thing. Mr. Hill, I'm not as easily mesmerized or hoodwinked as some people in this town, and I think it only fair that I warn you that I have a shelf full of reference books in there that may very well give me some interesting information about you. Well, hey, Gregory! I'm Marcellus. I'm, don't call me Greg. So, how'd it go with making out with the music teacher? Scrumptious. Ate it out of my hand the minute I tipped my hat. Really? Boy, did you cut yourself some swath. I mean, for a second, even I thought you knew some about leading the band. Just like when you used to imitate that band concert guy down in Joplin. Oh, uh, yeah. Kid stuff. I'm in rare form these days, son. Just you keep your eye on me for the next four weeks. Wait, four weeks? <laughs> the instruments used to take ten days to arrive. Well, still do, but they take four weeks for the uniform. Oh no, Greg, you haven't added uniforms. Uniforms and instruction books. Instruction books? Greg, Greg, you can't pass yourself off as a music professor. I mean, not for any four weeks. Mars. And you don't know one note from another. I've invented a revolutionary new method called the Think System, where you don't bother with Notes. Greg, the people are going to want to hear music in four weeks, and you got to lead a band. Ah, but when the uniforms arrive, they forget everything else, at least long enough for me to collect and leave. Uh, this is a refined operation, son, and I've got it timed down to the last wave of the brakeman's hand on the last train out of town. And now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Washburn. So, you're going to line yourself up some canoodling, huh? Well, say. I can set you up with Ethel's sister. Nice lady, teaches Sunday school. No wide-eyed, eager, wholesome, innocent Sunday school teacher for me. That kind of gal spins webs, no spider ever. Listen, boy. A gal who trades on all that purity, merely wants to trade my independence for her security. The only affirmative she will file, first to marching down the aisle. No golden, glorious, gleaming, pristine goddess. No, sir. For no Diana do I play fawn, I can tell you that right now. I snarl, I hiss, how can ignorance be compared to bliss? I spark, I fizz, for the lady who knows what time it is. I cheer, I rave, for the virtue I'm too late to save. The sadder but wiser girl for me. Really? That's what, that's what you're going with? No bright-eyed, blushing, breathless baby at all, baby. No, sir, that kind of child ties knots no sailor ever knew. I prefer to take a chance on a more adult romance. No, do a young miss who keeps resisting all the time she keeps insisting. No wide-eyed, wholesome, innocent female. No, sir, why she's the fisherman, I'm the fish you see. Plop! I flinch, I shy, when the last with the delicate air goes by. I smile, I grin. When the gal with a touch of sin walks in, I hope, I pray, for Hester to win just one more A. The sadder but wiser girl's the girl for me. The sadder but wiser girl for 